Comic 172, and it's always hard for me, well, not always, but it is now hard for me to actually read what number comic I'm on, and if I don't remember from before, then I'm screwed, because the big uh, recording sign in uh, this new, well, not new, but this other recording program comes right over top of where I put the comic number. Anyway, um... All right, so here they are. Oh, yeah, okay. So, are the walls vibrating? Home sweet home. Ah, crap. It's that inconsiderate jackass downstairs playing his huge stereos. His huge stereo. I even asked him nicely, and all he thinks of is himself. Ding dong. Can you quit walking around all the time? I'm trying to listen to loud, popular music downstairs, and you're disrupting my bass. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, I forget their names, but there were two guys. Uh, no, no, well, the tall guy's name was Dwayne. What was the what was the shorter guy? So there was a shorter guy. This is the shorter guy with the blonde hair, and he's got the little um, chin chin beard thing, ball cap, and the sunglasses. He wore these all the time. This one comic basically wraps up the first four months of living above them in this apartment that I was in. Are the walls vibrating? Inconsider jackass downstairs playing his huge stereo I, I I recall asking nicely a couple of times I also recall I, I stomped on the floor once or twice and when we stomped on the floor he would come up and, and say oh I'm just trying to what do you, what do you, you have a problem with our music we want to talk about it well no I don't want to talk about it I want you to shut up anyway it's, it's bringing back memories of how angry I was and how much I hated this situation and it was just awful so so what do you do? You, you you draw it and put it into your comic. I think this was after it had happened and after we'd moved out and moved into a different place that I just sort of uh, added this storyline because I, you know, it's just a story that I wanted to tell. There's a lot of things that happened in this comic that were exact parallels to my life. Lots of other things that were nowhere near and they were completely made up and fictitious. But this was one of the ones that was an exact parallel to my life. Uh... No, he didn't actually say, could you quit walking around all the time? He did complain. Just to paint a picture, have you ever been in a place that had really paper-thin walls? So whenever anyone talked with, like, a bassy voice, you could feel it when you were just sitting on your couch. Did, did you ever get to the point where someone would play such loud music that it was impossible to ignore it? It was just the whole thing was... Vroom, 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 and it was just... Vroom, vroom, vroom. And it, I... I, I I can't even describe it. It's, it's sort of like being inside of a bouncy castle. And instead of people bouncing right next to you, the walls themselves are bouncing you. You know, with, with, with no outside intervention. So this was what we were dealing with. We had a cat, two, two cats at the time. And so when we finally had a meeting and discussed, and we're trying to discuss these things, some of the dumbest things to ever come out of human beings' mouths were said by particularly this guy. I forget his name. What was his name? It's probably something stupid. Like... I won't insult anyone's actual name, but I don't know. It was... The tall, stupid one was Dwayne. They were both idiots. But this guy, he, he said two things. The first thing that made me unable to respond to it was so stupid was we, I paid, oh, how much did he pay for the stereo? I paid, it was either 500 or or $1,000. I, I paid $1,000 for this stereo system, and I, if I don't play it loudly, it's a waste of money. I was flabbergasted. I, I, was, I was dumbfounded. I couldn't say a thing. And I looked over to the superintendent who we were arguing with, and she actually kind of looked at him, nodded her head, and said, mm, yeah, that's a good point. And I went, oh, man. I learned years later that this other dude... Un unrelated to me, someone I'd never met, but I'd, I'd heard a story that this one guy, he had had such a problem with his neighbors and an even bigger problem dealing with a superintendent who at the time was, yes, useless. And I, at that point, I just said, there's nothing I can do. We just we just have to bear it for a little while longer and move out because it was, you know, two months to the end of our leaves. This guy was only two months into his lease, so what he did was, I think he either moved out and didn't pay anything and then afterwards sued the parent company down in Halifax, or he went over the super's head and talked to the building owners down in Halifax and said, this is how impossible it is to deal with it. And I think they gave, they reimbursed him some ridiculous amount just based on how bad the, 
well, not really governing, but just the the overseeing of the building was. Because if you complain about noise, and in a paper thin building, you know, we complain about noise, we complain about the smoking because the smoke would actually come up through the bathroom pipes because the bathroom the pipes weren't actually insulated so the pipe would just go through a hole in the floor and that was their bathroom beneath it so whenever they'd smoke it would just pour up into our apartment like a chimney so we were effectively their chimney anyway i'm trying not to complain too much about it so the only the other stupid thing he said was when we said we cannot sleep at night you know we cannot do anything we cannot do any work there's i i couldn't luckily i had a part-time job that i had a desk that I could do my homework at. I said, I cannot, you know, there's no way you can do schoolwork. We can't even listen to ourselves think. It's just when the music's playing, it is too loud to even speak to each other without shouting in our apartment. And then he said, well, you know, when I'm home during the day, I hear your cats running around. I thought, okay, the occasional little scamper, scamper, scamper across the floor above your head. It's not quite on par with full ribcage vibration. I've I've sat in a friend's car who was competing in a bass competition. These things exist. And he turned it up to, oh, I think, about medium. And medium was about on par with where it was to, to sit in this apartment when they were playing their music really loud. And they'd have, you know, parties and all sorts of... Anyway. I, I, I can't go into every single story because it would take too long, but inconsiderate neighbors is what this storyline is going to be all about and it's just something that actually happened in my life and I'd like to think that it was good therapy to get it out but thinking about it again makes me angry all over so maybe it wasn't good therapy <laughs> but it's probably going to be a pretty short little thing and I can't even remember if anything good or bad happens in it I think the ending becomes rather fictitious because I win but in reality I didn't win I just moved out so we'll see where it continues on. So I think we move on to 173 tomorrow. Oh, this was a long one. Sorry.